Okay, next. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, my heart. Oh, Eric knows I said that. That's okay, it. now. This is Kobalia versus Anish Giri. Now, Karen, if you'll do the honors. Okay? Okay. See the, the top three moves for white, and there's more. Mm -hmm. All zeros. Yes. I okay? can see that. And it's Rick and Pawn against Rick and Pawn. Mm -hmm. Because it's, so it's all zeros. Okay. <clears throat> and White lost this game like a little bitch. Okay. And if I say little bitch, if I say it, who's the first person you think of? Anish Giri. <laughs> and yet his opponent lost like a little bitch. <laughs> Amazing. Right. And this is the first game in 20. I mean, it's December 29th, right? Mm -hmm. It's the first game in 2021 that Giri won. Pretty good. Yeah. Who is Kabalia married to? I don't know. Um, okay. Not going to know. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So let's have a look at the blunder, shall we? Yeah. So King G6, good. King C2, good. King here, good. Now, in this position, there's no reason to get behind the pawn because what you're going to do is you're going to queen this pawn and he's going to queen this pawn and you're going to sack your rook for the pawn and he's going to sack his rook for the pawn. So what matters here is getting this pawn up here. So this, this doesn't really make any sense. But it, it, as you can see, every move draws. Okay. So he played one of the every moves that draws. Fine. Okay. Okay. Right. Now, in this position, we got our rook behind our pawn. Okay, that's it. We're done there. Now, we got to do that. Okay, now, Karen, you can't play here because I take it. All right. So if you want to move your king up the board, like in a rook and pawn ending, and you want to play here, what move do you make? I guess king c3. King c3. That's the only drawing move. Otherwise, white's lost. And that's like the only move I would think of. King here, and then do that. When's well, the draw? Okay. He made a move that makes no sense. And if I said after the game, a, a Kobalia, however you pronounce your name, why did you play King D3? I don't know what he would say. I mean, it's a tale told by an idiot full of sound and fury, <laughs> signifying nothing, or in India. That's what I think. Right. Yeah, I don't understand. That move is absurd. It doesn't help me do this. It, I can't go here. That's 400 moves ahead. Now, Karen, mm -hmm. what Black doesn't want to do, doesn't, mm -hmm. is put the rook here, eventually do that, eventually sack, and eventually this, and it's a draw. What Black wants to do, watch me cheat. You watching? Mm -hmm. Okay. Usually husbands don't tell their wives to watch them cheat, but Karen likes to watch. This gets COVID. Okay. Is you want to play here, watch. All right. You want to queen the H pawn, but not let him sack his rook for it. Right. Okay. So Geary played the only move that wins. So how does he allow himself to play that? King G3. Correct. Now he's going to go here. Okay. Now, now if in the previous position, white played the normal move, not only does white queen or try to, he stops rook h4. God damn. Easy draw. And the way to try to win after king c3, since you can't play rook here anymore, because mm -hmm. here this comes, yeah. is to play rook here. So this is the way you try to win. But trying... is first step to... Failure. Oh, failure. So you go here. Okay, here. All right. What's the only move white can play to draw here? White has one way to draw here. Thanks, demon bag. You're the best. Day after day. Um... I'm not 
not sure. So you have to get your rook to the back row, okay, French style, mm -hmm. that TM back row. Oh, okay. And so you you, there's many ways to do it, but there's only one that draws. Rook G8. Or... Right. The reason is, if you do it the slow way, I queen, you take, I take, and I win, because my king is close enough. You want the black king to come over here, then when you sack your rook and the king's trying to come back, c'est pas possible. So rook g 8 is the only drawing move. Then rook g one is the only drawing move. Although it says black's winning. Confused. King f3. Oh, I'm sorry. You don't play rook g1. You check again. You just keep checking. Yeah, actually, going back here loses. But you just check and he can't escape the checks. If he does escape and goes here, mm -hmm. then I, I block the pawn and you don't win my rook. Your king's way over there. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. So then just, you know, obviously if we check forever, it's a draw. Now, if you try to hide, right? Mm -hmm. Trying is the first step to failure. Trying to hide, right? Mm -hmm. Now I can go here threatening checkmate. Yeah. And then you try to queen, check, etc. Then you go here, and then you go take the pawn. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So king c3 would draw, and he played king d3, and now black's winning. h2. Now, Geary could blunder here. Geary could play here. And now we just trade rooks, and our king is getting over here, and we draw. But Geary didn't blunder. Geary played h2, putting in an h. Right. And then the game's over. And then he resigned. So he went from like all zeros every move to just losing like it was nothing. So boo, boo. And one of the reasons there's a lot of mistakes in the end games compared to times past is number one, this is a blitz game. Number two, when it was a slow game and it was the 1940s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, they adjourned games after four, five, six hours that so they could study the end game. Now you've been playing for six hours and you're exhausted and you have no time on your clock. So now they play the end game bad. Yeah. So Geary was very upset after this game because he won. Very upset. And he had to commiserate with, you know, Hikaru and Rajabov <clears throat> and other people who like to draw in five moves or so. All right. Next.